What's up, fellow Acer Spire 1 users? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, why, yes, I did dress up for you. No, actually, I have to go to some uh, funeral for some person I don't know. Mm. Anyways, I just wanted to <coughs> give a little update on the NVIDIA Ion 2, the different type of games you can play. I'm just going to go over a few. This is probably a short video. Anyways, <coughs> um, I'll get right into it. Uh, the first one I'm going to tell you about is uh, Battlefield Bad Company 2. Now, you've all seen those videos of all that crazy, like, haze and everything, and, like, the buildings blowing up and every single shot making a hole in a wall or something. Yeah, you were really impressed with that, weren't you? Anyways, um, so Battlefield Bad Company 2. Uh, so far, I haven't seen a single netbook or gaming network do it. Supposedly, um, at low it does 27 to 28 frames per second, medium 15 frames per second, uh, high 9 frames per second, uh, ultra 4 frames per second. It can actually load ultra. Um, that's impressive. Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, uh, low 56 frames per second, um, medium 18 frames per second, and high 16 frames per second. And 16 frames per second is sort of playable if you if you actually um, look at it, you mi it might sound low, but it's actually kind of playable. Anyways, um, Need for Speed Shift. You've all seen that one before. It was it looks pretty sick, doesn't it? Anyways, uh, there's only one setting that they've tested on. It was low, and it was 24 frames per second. Sims 3, all you Sims fans, uh, you would like it because it's um, low is 129 frames per second, medium 15, uh, 51 frames per second, high 14 frames per second, which is actually quite playable for a Sims game, because you don't need to be like ultra clicking and everything. Fear 2, um, medium 33, it's already maxed out so it doesn't need the low setting, so medium is 33 frames per second, high 19, ultra 9 frames per second, which I'm not sure if you want to do that, but hey. Far Cry 2, um, low 49 frames per second and high 17.9, which is actually quite playable. And, um, oh yes, all you Counter-Strike players would like this. Counter-Strike Source, uh, 92 frames per second on low and high 80 frames per second. And, of course, uh, there's Doom 3 because they tested on, like, the older games, um, Low is 123 frames per second, and Ultra is 74.8 frames per second, which is really good. Like, you could actually play it on Ultra. I ha I've i seen on, like, a Dell XPS, which is supposedly, like, the top gaming computer of its time. It um, is went for, like, I think maybe 20 frames per second, and it kind of dropped, which is um, not really good if you want to be playing a Doom game. Anyways, um, World of Warcraft fans, you all know <coughs> netbooks can handle World of Warcraft, but this one, just to give you a view of it, um, 159 frames per second on low, medium is 67 frames per second, and high is 16 frames per second. I don't know why it goes down low on that one, but whatever. Um, just notice that this is uh, the Ion to, I think it was tested on different platforms, so it may not be the same for a netbook or something, but it's because of maybe like a different CPU or something, but anyways, um, it seems a pretty good place if you think of it, so I'll see you gamers uh, later, man, and I probably have to go now.